Let's talk about Australia and China now, where relations between the two nations have plummeted to a new low. Australia wants China to apologize for sharing this fake image of an Australian soldier killing an Afghan child. Joining us now is Bloomberg's Ed Johnson in Sydney. Ed, the tweet, of course, hasn't gone down well in Australia, has it? No, I think it would be fair to say that it's gone down like a lead balloon uh, in the Australian media and in Australian political circles. The backdrop to this tweet, of course, is the ongoing war crimes probe uh, that's investigating allegations that Australian special forces soldiers in Afghanistan were allegedly involved in about 39 unlawful killings of Afghan civilians in prisoners. Now, that's caused a lot of soul searching here in Australia. And Prime Minister Scott Morrison said the tweet, which included a clearly doctored photograph of a soldier holding a knife to the throat of a child, was, in his words, repugnant, and he's demanded an apology. Now, of course, this is the latest twist in a steep downward spiral of ties between Australia and China. We've seen several Australian commodities uh, exports targeted, among them wine, which at the weekend was hit with tariffs as high as 212%. And Australian allies are showing support with what we might call wine diplomacy. Take a listen. Come on, who need wine when you have aquavit? But next month, we're drinking something a little bit different because our friends need our help. Earlier this month, the Chinese government handed the Australian government a list of 14 grievances demanding that Australia stops voicing out in defence of human rights and the rules-based order. China has cancelled a whole range of Australian imports in an attempt to bully us into abandoning our values. One of the worst affected industries is the Australian wine industry. This isn't just an attack on Australia, it's an attack on free countries everywhere. So this December, we are asking you all to join us in standing against Xi Jinping's authoritarian bullying. By drinking a bottle or two of Australian wine and letting the Chinese Communist Party know that we will not be bullied. Cheers and also say no bullying from China. With that hashtag, stand with Australia, members of parliament from all over the world there in solidarity. Ed, what do you make of this message? Yeah, it's interesting, isn't it? That, that's been made by a group called the Interparliamentary Alliance on China. That's made up of about 200 MPs from a range of political parties across about 19 countries. And, and what they're doing uh, here, as you say, it's a show of solidarity with Australia. There is a sense, certainly here, that Australia has been singled out for standing up to China. You know, uh, we, we've spoken out on a range of issues, the expansionism in the South China Sea, uh, the Hong Kong national security law. Um, certainly there's a feeling that, that Australia is being punished for earlier this year calling for an international inquiry into the origins of the coronavirus outbreak. So this video is a sign of solidarity amongst like-minded uh, democracies. Um, and they're pushing back against what's perceived as China's aggressive wolf warrior diplomacy. And how is China defending the tweet then? China is defending the tweet and they're saying they have nothing to apologize for. Indeed, uh, Prime Minister Scott Morrison is the one who should be apologizing for uh, the alleged atrocities committed in Afghanistan. Um, and the, the, the Chinese foreign ministry um, have questioned whether Morrison has a sense of, of right or wrong. Now, this is classic trolling by uh, foreign ministry officials who are well known for these tactics on social media. In fact, the same diplomats uh, floated the conspiracy theory early this year that the US Army may have had a role in spreading the coronavirus in China. Now, they're known as wolf warriors. That's a nod to uh, Rambo-like action film series. And it goes down really well with uh, the domestic audience in China. That tweet, which is tin, uh, pinned to the top of that diplomat's feed, has had 56 and 1,000 likes, which is a sign of, of how popular it is in China. Wow. Bloomberg News, Ed Johnson in Sydney.